Uh, hi everyone, Ron Farrell 73 here and I've got some more uh, movie pickups and uh, these are from the end of February through uh, <clears throat> most of this month. Uh, these uh, first two are from Scream Factory. Uh, they had a uh, Love is in the Scare sale last month which I just had to take advantage of. Tales from the Hood and this is a pretty good anthology film. Alligator 2, The Mutation. Um, Kane Hodder has a uh, supporting part in this, and uh, it's uh, decent, but uh, it's not as good as the first one. This is from Amazon UK, and uh, I was just glad that uh, there was a, a Blu ray, import Blu ray release of this because when I got my uh, region free. Uh, DVD Blu-ray player a couple years back. I made the mistake of getting the um, three disc and uh, bonus disc of this, which was uh, the movies were 4K and it wouldn't play on my player, but the uh, import would. So I had to send it back and uh, I was just really ecstatic that uh, they uh, have this on Blu-ray and this is the uh, import of Dawn of the Dead and uh, this has uh, all three uh, cuts of the movie on three discs, and uh, the bonus features disc is pretty good. There's a 59-minute uh, bonus feature uh, with the uh, actors who played the zombies and the bikers, and it's got uh, both versions of Document of the Dead and the uh, Dead Will Walk um, documentary from the... Uh, Ultimate Edition Anchor Bay box set, which I'm still going to hold on to. And uh, I was just glad to finally get, I was just glad that they were able to put this on Blu-ray. I mean, not many people have 4K uh, Blu-ray players. I also found out that uh, Martin's going to be uh, coming out on Blu-ray as an import from this company, Second Sight, uh, at the end of the month, which I'm definitely looking forward to picking up. And these next three pickups are a couple rare DVDs and a Blu-ray on demand from this uh, company called SloppySecondSales.com and... Uh, Movie John had mentioned this um, in one of his updates, so I just had to check it out. This is uh, Dark Room, and uh, this is a very rare uh, TV series that ran on uh, ABC in the early 80s, and uh, it only lasted seven episodes, and I do remember a Sci-Fi sci Channel running reruns of this uh, back in the mid-90s, and... Uh, it's a pretty good series. Um, there's like uh, some of the episodes had three stories in it, and uh, the uh, stories were very reminiscent of Alfred Hitchcock Presents and Night Gallery. And uh, I've heard about how bad this is, and uh, it is on YouTube, but I just had to pick up a copy of this to check it out. And uh, this is the Star Wars Holiday Special. I guess if you're like 9, um, 8, 10, 11, I mean, you'd love this. <clears throat> and um, it is bad, but in a good way. And uh, funny how the uh, most of the funny how the uh, guest stars uh, on here, like Beatrice Arthur, Art Carney, Diane Carroll, and Harvey Corman, have passed on. and. I'm just, and I'm pretty sure uh, Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill's wondering what they were thinking when they were doing this. And there's even a quote from uh, George Lucas uh, on the back here, which is pretty funny. And uh, this is a Blu-ray on demand, and this is one of their limited run titles, which I just had to get. And uh, this is a movie, Sick, and... Uh, Watched this on Peacock and uh, liked it very much. And um, this is a pretty uh, good take on the slasher genre. 
Uh, the story is set during the pandemic and these uh, two girls decide to get away for the weekend and uh, they're stalked by uh, three um, serial killers. They're stalked by three killers and uh, it's kind of reminiscent of Scream and the Strangers. This next one's a region-free uh, import Blu-ray I got from Deep Discount and this is the movie Terrifier. And uh, I watched this on Tubi one night, and I thought it was uh, pretty decent and uh, pretty gory. And uh, this has the movie All Hallows Eve as a bonus feature, which um, I also watched on Tubi, and it features Art the Clown. And uh, <clears throat> this... Uh, Guy could very well be the next Freddy, Jason, uh, Michael Myers, or uh, whatever um, movie maniac you can think of. And uh, got this over at Walmart's Friday, and I'm just glad that they still had copies of this. And this is Terrifier 2, and this is uh, another Blu-ray. And uh, watched it Friday, and I thought it was pretty good and decent. The effects were pretty good. <clears throat> That's all for this update. Until then, this is Ron here saying take care and see ya.